without a doubt, one of my favorite arcs in all of Naruto is the tuning exams. That is why today on the channel, I have created my own fan-made tournament bracket featuring eight three-man teams. I'm talking everything from Naruto, Sakura, and Sai to Kakashi, Obito, and Rin. Hopefully things go better for them this time. All right, coming up on game number one, we've got Team Naruto versus Team Boruto. Yes, I even threw in a Boruto team here. So for Team Naruto, I'm thinking Naruto, I'm thinking Sakura, and then I'm thinking Sai. I wanted Sai to be included, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I just wanted to go with this original team. Sasuke will be in the tournament, don't worry. I just decided to put him with his Taka squad. In the first and second round, it'll be single elimination, and then in the grand finals, it'll be a best of three. All right, our competitors are here in the bland Boruto tuning exams. What a, a kunai start from Boruto. That's huge. Mitsuki comes out in place of Boruto, starting to rush Naruto. Can't get the shadow clones off. How is he supposed to get away with this? Sarada comes in. We're seeing a lot of team play here from new Team 7. Oh my goodness, that might have been the ultimate. A grab from Naruto. Boom! Not a big damage, but they are going to take... What did Sakura do? Why did Sakura even bother coming out? Sarada on the ground. Not going to make a big difference. Sakura going to lead. Naruto comes back out. Huge Shadow Clone Jutsu. Sarada not subbing at all. Big damage. Almost a full bar gone already for Team 7. And a, a, a new Team 7. Sai coming out. Going to get blown away by Mitsuki. Boruto back in the driver's seat. Exactly what you want to see here. Boruto stops the grab with more shuriken. He loves those things. Sai gets a big combo. Oh my god. This is bad for new Team 7. They don't stand a chance. Old Team 7 kind of putting in work. Do you really need that many Shadow Clones to throw Shuriken? Do it yourself. An ultimate for Boruto. He's going to land it. He's going for the Spiral Boruto stream on Sai. 60 FPS. You can see every frame. My God, he's actually going to do it. This might just tie the game up. Sai's in big trouble. Huge damage. Actually, not that much damage at all. I thought he was going to do way more. Boruto's got to awaken. He's got to try to get his awaken. He's getting the distance. He's not going to be able to dash. The birds are going to stop him. He's going for the team ultimate. If Sai doesn't dodge this. Oh, he does. A nice backflip from Sai. Boruto finally getting his subs back. Sai at two. Boruto doesn't awaken. He goes out into Mitsuki. Mitsuki. Mitsuki doesn't awaken yet either. He's on the edge. He's somewhat getting that lead back though. He wastes a sub. Sai only at one. Sai's gonna have to sub here, but he might not want to waste it. Mitsuki goes for another ultimate. Sai is throwing the... Sai is throwing. Sai is actually losing this for old Team 7. Mitsuki with a huge ultimate, dragging him through the ground. That is pure concrete as well. Oh my god, he's gonna slam him. Hell in a cell. Oh! New Team 7 has the lead. Is Sai gonna find a way to dig deep and get out of this match? He has been throwing all day long. He's gotta find a way. He's down to three subs again. Not going for the Awakening. Instead, he's gonna rush Sarada. Sarada getting rushed by Sakura. Sakura with the big ultimate. Sarada doesn't know how to play the game. She's reading a whole script to her own daughter. It's over. It's actually over. Sarada loses the same way she actually won her original match. Spoilers. Things were looking touch and go there for a second, but it is my pleasure to move Naruto up. Up next on the tournament bracket is Team Neji versus Team Kiba. I wish I actually remembered these team numbers, to be honest. I think... Uh, nah, I can't even remember what it is. Uh, my brain, I can't remember what their team numbers are. Uh, put it on the screen while I'm saying this. Uh, I can't think of it. Like, I'm going to guess 11? One of these is Team 11. For sure. All right, and we're back with the match. Oh, a shuriken clash at the very beginning. That was hype, actually. Big assist for both of them. Lee comes out and does a ton, but Hinata was actually able to get in and get away. Neji pinned her up against the tree. This is actually canon. It's Neji versus Hinata. It's the Hyuga versus the Hyuga. Neji with a sick back dash against Hinata's ultimate. It's not going to catch him. Now it's Lee's turn. And now it's Ten Ten's turn. This is what I'm talking about. Huge teamwork here from the left team. Ten Ten making a move. Back dash. Going to get hit by the Shino assist. Kiba in the driver's seat. We did let Kiba be team leader. We know he would have loved that. Akamaru and Kiba tag teaming up. They're going to secure the lead. Not that it means much. Whoa! Side dash! Keeping it close. Kiba tags in Hinata. Lee saw that coming, but he has no subs. Can he land the ultimate? He does! Hinata does not know how to use her subs, and that's going to cost her one leap hot wind of damage. She has the way awakening. Is anyone on the team gonna? Is anyone on the team gonna go for the awakening? It's gonna be Kiba. He's going fang over fang. Akamaru on his side. Will he use him at all? Big damage coming out from Kiba. Not using any of his awakening powers just yet. Lee with a great tilt move. No subs to speak of. This is a big situation. Akamaru gets called out. Kiba fang over fang. No subs left for Lee at all. He's actually gonna gain them all back now. It's too big of a lead though. Kiba needs to get away. Even with his awakening, it wasn't enough. Thankfully, Lee's not going to tap into his. Neji back flipping away. Dodges the Shino assist, even though it looks like he was pretty business casual about it all. 
Lee is back out. Lee is back out. One sub left. He's got to use it now. He does. Barely dodges the ultimate. Bugs come out. Lee's got three. Gino with two. He'll move out. He barely dodges it. A backdash to get away from the ultimate. He's got a sub and he does. Gino can't get away from the beatdown. He's got a sub again. He's at zero. Somebody's got to do something. Gino barely dodging the kunai. The lead dash, but it's not going to work. Kunai coming out from 1010. We've got two ranged characters. Shino, a brilliant strategy of putting the trees between him. The bugs are finding a way through, but the, the Kunai can't. He's a strategy god. He's keeping his distance. He's going up. 1010's frozen in fear. The assist is going to hit. A actually, Hinata. Wait, no. The bugs actually ended it before Hinata could go get it. Oh, my God. Zoom in. Hinata ran up and got kicked by Lee, but it wasn't enough. And the bugs are going to take 1010 down. Crazy as it is, though, Team Kiba is gonna take it over team neji unreal i never expected kiba's team to make it out of round one if i could be a hater and i could say that i never expected that and up next we have a hype match it's gonna be sasuke's team versus gara this is the run back of the century and we're back you remember what happened the first time these two met in the tuning exams they couldn't finish their match fairly so now we're gonna see it again as adults team taco with a huge lead on the the Saiyan team. Gar gets his feet planted. He wants to do it alone. Jugo gets to go up against the puppets. Water Dragon gonna knock Conqueror off his feet, though. How is he gonna find that focus and get these puppets off? Conqueror seems to not be able to get control of the puppets. He's gotta let Tamari come in and do her thing. A great performance from Tamari last time she was in the tuning exam. She has the range benefit. Sasuke not gonna let it happen. Amaterasu, she had to sub. Two subs wasted. Chidori chase down. Not gonna be enough to find her. Back flips away from the kunai. She needs that distance. She's found it here today. Sasuke with a huge dash in. Puppets are back in sasuke needs to keep this press down so he gets who's gonna come in and do it himself conqueror honestly just can't seem to find the right distance the rush down is back conqueror can't find his footing no subs to get away he just he, he's using puppet may rain doesn't find a single blow conqueror not bringing his a game today tamari comes out again another character that wants to get their distance she's gonna find it with a backflip wait she charges in no subs what's the thought process here the thought process is let gara carry that's my kaze kage right there he's getting destroyed team taka has an insane lead and so he gets who's doing it all by himself gara has the team ultimate he has the awakening will he want to use any of it though it doesn't look like it instead he's gonna tag back out in the i just disagree with the decision making he hasn't been able to set his puppets up all day he's twiddling his fingers he can't find the right move he can't get the puppet set up he's got no subs jugo might be going for a team ultimate he's definitely going for the rushdown kunai in the face that's disrespect my guy juice not letting him go he's back in it He's back in it again. Conqueror just losing subs for his team. You go back on the chase down. Tamari comes out again. You've got to keep the distance though. Paper Bomb misses. Dodges all of Tamari's attacks like it was nothing. Tamari locks off the ability to transform. She's not going to find it with her chakra limited like that. She's doing some side of jump cancel. Jugo does not care. A grab by Sasuke. Not going to find it. I don't even know what Tamari... Tamari... Oh, she actually lands it. Never mind. That was clutch. My God, the Kaze Kage team just low on health, low on subs. I don't see a world in which they win this, but maybe they could find one. Wait, we might... Nope, she canceled her awakening. This team has no idea what they're doing. Chidori Blade! Watch out, Tamari from downtown! The Chidori Blade from Sasuke. We talked about being able to close the distance, and he found a way to do just that. Tamari loses the game for her team. The Kaze Kage is out of the tournament. Up next is Team Shikamaru versus the Team Kakashi. I threw this team in there just for fun, but uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see what goes down. Here we are, it's Team Ina Shikacho versus a team that honestly just never anything went right for them. But my God, maybe they're a master of strategy. Rin with a huge counterplay. Shikamaru, the man with 300 IQ, for some reason couldn't see that log coming. Jumps over, a lot of kunai, Gu big grab by Obito. That's huge. Amazing start for this team. Rin's gonna come out and I don't know if I agree. I, I plain and simply do not know if I agree with this one unless she has that dog in her, that hidden tailed beast, flower bomb by Eno. Rin just can't seem to find, oh, the rush down. She's not gonna let him escape. My God, the teamwork here is crazy. Oh, big grab by Choji, kicks her away. Rin already looking canonical. Double assist, the boys are back. The boys on the battlefield. Big ultimate from Obito. Toji's going to be able to substitute out of that one. Not a huge health lead. We've seen bigger comebacks. Obito charges up enough chakra to launch another ultimate if he decides to go for that. Choji, the master of combos, restands. Shikamaru almost gets an ultimate off himself. Choji comes in, takes a blast for Shikamaru. Obito getting rid of, getting some distance. Will we see an awakening here? We could see Obito tap, tap into a Sharingan or even Rin tap into, uh, you know, spoilers, but we're not going to talk about it. Chidori assists, not going to be enough. Shikamaru, no subs left. Obito goes for another ultimate. He's too far. Rin closes some distance with amazing speed, and by that I mean she was casually walking. Oh my god. Oh! 
A big attack from Kakashi. He's not going to let the team ultimate go off. Fireball Jutsu misses by a mile. Oh, oh, oh. Slams him into a tree. Kakashi's barely alive. Flower Bomb might do it. It doesn't. Eno's in the driver's seat. She's going to try to finish things off. Obito misses another ultimate. He just can't seem to... What, what was that? I'm getting worried. Kakashi's on his last legs here. He almost goes out to just that alone. Lands a big combo on Choji. It's not enough. An ultimate comes out, but Choji just plows through him. It's over. It's over yet again. This team could not find any success. Uh, but I guess this beat's getting crushed by a rock. Now it's time for Naruto versus Kiba. Another tuning exam matchup. But what's actually going to happen this time? Last time, Naruto won due to some... Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm not I'm not a big fan of the way Naruto beat Kiba. I think he could have done it himself. I think he could have just done it with some Shadow Clones. He's launched, Speaking of Shadow Clones, he's launching 100 of Makiba. Good. My analysis have been right. Akamaru with a big lead. Chino's assist. We saw it cause a lot of trouble for the last team. Will the new Team 7 be able to overcome that? Kiba with a huge backflip. Akamaru's got to catch up. Oh, Naruto tries to go with the counter, but she just can't get it done. It's Kiba and Akamaru again. They tag out to Shino. Sakura, big combo. Gonna go for an ultimate. Misses by a mile. Not even close. What, what is Shino doing? Bro is just backflipping. I mean, to be fair, he's dodging everything, so I can't. Oh, he got rushed down. See, this is why you don't just do backflips. Shino, once again, trying to get behind a tree. I don't disagree with the strategy. We've seen his insects go through him. There we go. The great placement by Shino. Could he be going for an ultimate? No, he's gonna throw those projectiles out, though. How is Sakura, a close range fighter, gonna deal with this? The answer is i don't think she will chino's just got her exactly where he wants her the assists are too good naruto's assist not gonna make any contact keep it too fast one dodge left for sakura kiba's ultimate's here sakura's gonna use her last sub this is a great opportunity for kiba's gang and a big ultimate comes out he misses again kiba just cannot hit the side of a barn he is going purely off set my man has foregone his vision Ooh, another ultimate's gonna miss for Kiba. He's gotta be feeling down on himself now. He can't let that mental aspect get to him, though. Rasengan, it's gonna miss by a mile. Naruto getting hit by the assist. Another team ultimate. This could be bad for team Naruto. They've got the gang. Akamaru and Kiba. Bang over Fang. It's time. Is it really over? No anime cutscene means it's not over just yet. Did Naruto dig deep? Is he gonna find that awakening? Kiba has no ultimate. He, Naruto might be able to turn the tides in one move. He's going with the Sage Art. He can't find it. He's still got enough chakra for one more ultimate. If he could just dig deep and find it. He's gonna launch the Shadow Clones again. Finds a combo on Kiba. Tags out into Sai. Tags back into himself. No subs for Kiba. Naruto's got something, but he can't get out of the combo. It's over. Shino finishes another match with no subs. Unreal. You never thought Naruto would falter as the protagonist of the series. It hurts to say, but Kiba's going to be moving forward. Now it's time for Sasuke versus Shikamaru. We've seen great teamwork out of Shikamaru's team, but Sasuke is by far the most dangerous guy here. I can't believe we're not going to get a Naruto Sasuke finals, but Kiba put up a great show. Kiba's gang. So he gets to covering his distance. Doesn't want to let Sasuke do the hard carrying here. Instead, so he gets who's just going to go for a 1v2. Jugo tags in. Gets interrupted by Choji Shuriken. I'm going to say, Choji's been playing great defense all day. That's not going to stop him from getting punched in the face, though. Choji just hitting the air. He's got a problem with oxygen itself. Choji wants all the smoke. Sasuke's hit the field. This is not a drill. Sasuke has hit the field. Chidori. Oh, my God. A flower bomb from downtown. And an ultimate from Ito. So he gets who's going to dodge that. Great play by Sugetsu. That could have been a game changer. Ino trying to get a few tilt moves in. I think what would really be a big game changer here is if Ino Chikacho, if they could get that team ultimate off, that might change the game. But until then, this lead is looking devastating. But Getsu still in the driver's seat, playing it nice and slow in the background here. He does have access to Water Dragon Jutsu. Should he choose to tap into it? Sasuke's back. Sasuke is back in the playing field. Koji playing great defense once again. Big combo comes out. Three subs left for each. Sasuke, he's got to choose to find what he's not. Ino's going to land a huge dancing pedals. Kicks him away. That's going to even up the game. Oh, no. If Sasuke awakens, it's definitely over, though. No, so he gets who's going to come back out. Unreal. Shikamaru gets laid out by Jugo Assist. So he gets who's going to dash in? You've got to get more space than that. I'm not sure who I'm actually... Who's actually in the driver's seat? Ino, no subs. So he gets who's going to finish in one combo. She got a sub back, but not fast enough. Sasuke has made it to the finals. You know the rules. In the finals, it's going to be a best of three. I'm not going to lie. I did not expect Kiba to make it this far. Sasuke's team, I did though. Taka, a very formidable opponent. And that is going to be huge damage. A big ultimate from Soigetsu just to start it off. Is this real? 
really the difference in power is Team Taka showing that it was never a challenge at all. Remember, it is going to be a best of three, but if Soigetsu keeps this performance up, Tiba might never wake up. A fang over fang. It's not over yet. This is why the finals are the finals. Absolute fang over fang. That's going to even up the game. So he gets you leading in with an air combo. Tries to get at something to go with a grab, but it's just not going to happen. Tiba trying to find something again. It's going to be a big miss. Tiba with the counter. So he gets you not falling for it, though. Blows him back. Takes a little bit of a health lead. These two are not tagging out. Jugo assist misses, but I think it takes out Hinata. So he gets you once again getting that lead. Chidori assist is going to hit, but Kiba is going to have to sub it. Kiba walking up. He's not taking it. He's not afraid. So he gets who's going to use a sub. So he gets who's at zero. Goes for the ultimate. He not against hits again. So he gets who's doing it all himself. Talk about H2. Whoa, this performance is out of this. I, I thought Cordy. He not Huge combo. No subs for Jugo. And Shido's assist is there to perform the, what it's supposed to do. The defense was crazy. A huge 26 hit combo. He not has got to dodge the Shidori and she does. Another Soigetsu ultimate. It can't be, but it is. It's Soigetsu for the third time. Finishing off round one. Team Kiba is going to have to dig deep and find a way to come back. Unreal. Hinata, for some reason, afraid. Even though she has all the advantage in the world, you need to get up there and put some damage in. Ultimate, not going to do anything against Suigetsu. He finds the shuriken out. No combo against Hinata. Kiba comes back in. Akamaru can't land the grab, though. So he gets it with a bit of a combo. Kiba lands a fang over fang. So he gets you getting lower and lower. He wants to do it all himself. He's not tagging out anybody. But Sasuke's got to get in the driver's seat at some point. Shino's trying to get away. She wants the distance. He wants those bugs to come out and do all the work. The distance is huge for Shino, but he's not doing anything with it. He's standing there frozen. Shino charging up right in front of him. You think you want a bit more distance. There it is. And he finds it. Max range. This is exactly where you want to be if you're Shino. If you're a Shino fan in the comment section, you've got to be opening digs deep here. There he goes. Now we're finally starting to throw some bugs out. Gets hit by Jugo. Assist into the air combo. Oh my God. Sasuke's back out. Dashing through the bugs. He closes the distance in one foul swoop. Jerkin, tree distance. Jugo has the team ultimate he could go for. Also has the awakening. Could he tap into the curse mark? Doesn't look like it. He's just trying to dash in. Can't dodge Hinata's assist. He's low on health, so he gets to the actual MVP carry. Gets knocked out of his ultimate for once in his life. So he gets who's not going to land a free ult. That being said, though, getting a full bar is nothing to sneeze at. Taka is, without a doubt, the leader of the pack right now. You've got to hope for something. Two assist is too much. That is going to make it so he can, can tap into that awakening, though. And an ultimate comes out. She's going to land it. The gentle step, twin lion fist. Big damage. One more ultimate like that, and we might be looking at a tie game. She's not going to be awakening. Could she be trying for that double ultimate? By God, the double ultimate lands. Hinata's trying to clean up for the team. Twin Lion Fist. That did not do a lot of damage, though, if we're being honest. Especially when you consider that Hinata's lost a lot of time and a lot of health. She can't keep getting hit by Chidori Assist like that. The rushdown might be too much. No, no subs left. No subs left at all. She might have to awaken. It's the only hope. It's over. Soigetsu does it all himself. That's going to bring an end to the tuning exam. Soigetsu's won it all. If we go back over, we can see that Sasuke's team, Team Talk, has taken a 2-1 victory. And they are the winners of the tournament. Sasuke with a huge 3-0 win. Kiba came out and performed, but it just wasn't enough to overplay Team Taka. That was actually a lot of fun. If you want to see more like this with just more Naruto characters, definitely let me know because, to be honest, I kind of want to see it. <laughs> like, we could do the young characters next. We could do Akatsuki members. I mean, really, there's just so much to do. But hopefully, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe. Check out the other videos on the channel. I have been Dada Doi, and I will see you in the next one.